So here we have a canvas and I wanted to talk you through some editing tips and tricks. To start off with, this is a canvas that talks about different events that are going on. And I wanted to give it a little bit more visual appeal. So on the very top, if I hover over, I can click on add cover and this will provide some nice cover art for the top. So I'm going to click here and there's a library of pre-created Slack images that you can choose from. But you can also, let me switch through to different ones, um, you can also upload your own. So I'm going to click here, click on my screenshots, and I have this pretty image that I now have at the very top, very appropriate for Green Week. In addition, I might want to have some more information about these events. I have pasted the images in here, um, but it does take up a lot of room. So what you can do is actually drag different elements over. And if I drag it to the right, um, I can add different sections. Uh, and this allows me to just have some nice formatting. So if I move things over, this is a lot easier to consume. I can also say who the contact person is. Let's say it's Jody for any event questions. This is very similar to how you can at mention somebody in a channel, but if I want to have a little bit more visual appeal, I can right click and display as card and say contact Jody. And now she has an image. It does take up a lot of room. So again, I can add some section to the right to just kind of pad the information over a bit. In addition, um, to contacting Jody, maybe I want to have a workflow so people can RSVP. So I have a workflow URL here, and when I paste it in, it gives me the option right away to show it as a URL or a card. I'm going to type in card, and here I can start a workflow for a very quick event sign up. So now on this canvas, I not only have information about the event, who is the contact person, but also the event sign up as well. So I've showed you different layouts. Uh, in addition, you can also add simple tables. So here, if I click on the button here, it adds a table and I can say event and maybe contact person. I can select this text, right click on it and say use header row. And that allows me to gray out and have nice shading on the top column. I can also do that if um, I needed to have the, the column shaded as well. So I can type in additional details, and this is a great way of just organizing information. I can also add images into the table if I needed to as well. So I've shown you how to add images and tables. If you wanted to, you could also add videos and play inside the canvas as well. So here are different tips and tricks for editing within canvas.